We talk a lot about how to play Hex, but what about why to play Hex? Here's the three key reasons why you should play Hex. Firstly, Hex is great for player development. The first principle of Hex, take the open pass, forces players to pass the disc early and often, and this leads to more throws and more catches per possession. Early in your ultimate journey, throwing and catching are the two most fundamental skills you must focus on leveling up the fastest, and what better way to do that by throwing and catching a lot in game. Well, that's eight, seven, and we've still Off the disc, when and where to move is up to the players in Hex. This forces players to find and use open space by cutting into it so they can get past to. Yes. Gross. Over time, players learn to create space by leaving an area open for someone else, and to preserve space by maintaining a connected shape. Oh, that's a beautiful pass. <laughs> Next, Hex is fun to play. When you pass the disc around quickly, the defense are constantly on the back foot. Loads of players are getting the disc in and out of their hands and everyone is having a good time. The quick movement is sometimes so exciting that you can get carried away and try something silly which leads to a turnover. <laughs> It's incredibly rewarding to catch the pull and go all the way to the end zone with fun, fluid, fast-paced offense. Finally, Hex is strategically robust, meaning you can play Hex with the same principles no matter what the defense are doing. Look at that, you gotta milk it. Mental with a hammer over the top. Felix putting a bit of air underneath this one. To illustrate the point, let's compare Vert stack and Hex. In Vert, if the offense plays strict match, you're fine. But if the defense come down in zone, then you have to change the key parts of the offense. The tightly spaced straight line has to spread out, and those one at a time, one after another cuts, have to switch into players drifting into the space least covered by the defenders. In Hex, whether the defense plays match, zone, or something in between, you're absolutely fine to just use the key principles of taking the open pass, staying connected, and looking for the return pass. Think about it this way. If you spend three months training to play vert stack, and you manage to get every player running the right cuts at the right time, you might get to your big tournament and play exclusively against teams that surround your vertical stack or play a full zone. So all this time you spent perfecting your cutting patterns is wasted, because you have to start playing differently. If you instead train Hex, you know that the time will pay off because there isn't a defense so disruptive to Hex that it forces you to stack up. That's not to say you shouldn't have a set play to try and score in one or two passes in your back pocket. The point is that the robustness of Hex makes it a great candidate for your default offense. Hopefully that explains why you might want to play Hex. If you think Hex might be the right choice for your team, check out the How to Introduce Hex video on screen now. See you there! So there are three main reasons why I think you should at least experiment with Hexagon Offense. It's great for development, it's robust, and it's fun to play. There's the deep shot. This might be a little bit undercooked. No, expertly weighted. I found it's great for development because there are more opportunities for more players to be actively involved in the play, and their play is guided by principles rather than rules. So in vertical stack, it's easy for players to hide or get lost in the stack, not quite timing their move correctly to receive a continuation pass. But in hex, the disc moves around quickly, and it will come to the player who just needs to put a hand out or to take a couple of steps away from their defender in order to receive a pass and keep the disc moving. On top of this, players are constantly asked to make situational decisions, reacting to the movement of the players around them, uh, to choose where they should go or who they should throw to, rather than remembering which spaces on the field are active and inactive, or whose turn it is to cut or what patterns you should be running. Or anything like that. So the constant challenging of on-field awareness and decision-making encourages players to develop good game sense very quickly 
alongside the catching, throwing and movement fundamentals, rather than concerning themselves with anything to do with stacking up, clearing space, resetting the disc, anything like that. Second reason is that it's robust. So put simply, you can run Hex against any defense, and you can make it work by just tweaking how you're playing it. Stack offenses have to completely change when playing against poachers or a zone defense, but the principles of Hex stay the same whatever the defense runs. It's not magic, so if your opponent's just better than you, then any offense is going to struggle and you're going to turn over. But there's not a strategical counter for Hex, which can force you to abandon it, like there is for stack offenses. The third reason is that Hex is fun to play. Passing the disc around quickly, give go moves, quick swings, and free flowing offense is really enjoyable and cerebrally gratifying. When the stall count never reaches 3 seconds, the defense are constantly on the back foot, loads of players are getting the disc in and out of their hands, and everyone's having a good time enjoying the offense. Stress levels are weighed down, and if anything, one of the biggest weaknesses of Hex is that players get giddy. So the quick movement is so exciting that it's easy to get carried away and try something silly which leads to a turnover. But up until that point, playing the offense is so enjoyable and you quickly begin to see the game differently, with advantages everywhere on the field that you aren't taking with other offenses. Playing Hex feels like it teaches you how to play Ultimate rather than teaching you how to play Hex, and you have a great time whilst doing it. <laughs> so we've created a whole load of training drills and videos for you to check out. Sign up to our Patreon so that you can access them all. And I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you again soon. Oh, John, superstar. Super <laughs> we got eyes, and I thought you were going to go, and then I didn't see you appear, so I was like, I better put it up. <laughs>